Welcome back, folks. We are doing okay. We have a little bit of money, but I did repay a million. So we can borrow that money. So let's see how much do we need for a general with two passenger cars. 1.3 million. So we can actually afford that. We can actually afford that if we borrow the money again. So let's borrow the million and buy vehicles, general, two passenger cars, buy that, set it on Murrieta Olathe commuter train, first color it, I think it's that color, not entirely sure, but I think it is. And we have our first train, hooray! Our very first train. The General. Isn't that beautiful? That makes me very happy that we have our first train. Very happy indeed. Let's hope it makes us money as well, because we're not making that much money. A lot of people waiting here. So many to lower Morietta, but a lot to Joliet. In Joliet, we have a few people waiting. Well, hopefully, we start getting some passengers here. Not yet, but that's to be expected. Let's see. Come on, give us a nice amount of passengers here there's a lot of people waiting here jesus third street 65 people where's third street is that over here oh, that's south street third street has to be down here yeah in lubbock There was a passenger. There was a passenger. One passenger. We have a passenger on board our train. Fantastic. And we have a passenger waiting up here. One passenger. Let's see if any of these people want to go on the train. You going on the train? I think you're going on the train. You are most decidedly going on the train. Nice. Maybe. Yeah, two people. All right. All right. These passengers? Yeah, they are. Noise. That's four passengers right there. Bringing four people. Are you passengers? Yes. It looks like it. Once the autosave is done, we'll see. Come on, people. You want to go on the train? Yes, you do. That's... There'll be eight people waiting. Fantastic. Uh, zero passengers. And there are zero passengers waiting here. people you want to go on the train you know you do you know you want to go on the train it's 
the first train in the world. How can you not want to go? How many passengers did you get? Eight. Not a single passenger waiting down here. Here comes a... Hey! Oh, that's Jesse Kelly. That wasn't one of our... Oh, two passengers on board. Hmm. So many people waiting here. 63 people to go to... Third Street. Zero to go to South Street. South Street is not a popular destination, apparently. And did you pick any up here? 11 passengers. Not bad. Not bad. Not wanting to go to Lord Morietta. I think maybe we need... I think maybe we need some more on here. So let, let's get four more. Let's get four more on this line. They're all down here right now. passenger because these people aren't being picked up I guess but now we should be picking some up and all of these are right on hey. the bottom of each other that's fine Four passengers, so that's good. The commuter train is definitely not making money yet, but that's okay. That's okay. Now, I really want to make a train station down here in Lubbock. Oh, oh it's such a small town, it's not going to do much for us. Not going to do anything for us, we. Hmm. Santa Rosa, how big are you? 100 people. Marietta, 133. 171. Lubbock, 239. Well, we have passengers here now. Six. And it looks like more coming. Well, that's good. Not a lot of buses here, though. Six minutes for the rate eight. Can't go with that. How much would it cost to clone all of them, I wonder? We 
kind of need to clone them. We actually really need to get this line going a bit faster. There we go. Cloned. There are so many people waiting, it should be fine to have a 20 extra on here. 34, 47, 38, 27. There's 28 waiting here. Forty nine nine. Oh, yeah. Just turn some of them around so they don't all go in the same way. Branch is that over here? Junkers East. So there are a lot going down here. Hmm, okay. A bit weird. I suppose it's people who need to go to work. Which is fine. whole lot going on here. Getting 19. But we are making money on the lines. The Yonkers lines are making money. Except the bus service, but we just added 20 vehicles to that, so it will start making money, I think. Once it gets filled up, the Manchester Centennial bus service is a dud. But the Murrieta Olaith commuter might be okay. Five people waiting. More. Rushing on to the platform. We have one person waiting, but more rushing onto the platform. We didn't make it. Nine people waiting. You number ten. You are number ten. to Marietta. A lot of people go or to uh, Joliet, but a lot of people go into Lower Murrieta. So it, it will start making money eventually, I'm sure of it. I am sure of it. Okay, we don't have really have any money to do anything. Hmm. Kind of just have to wait. Seven, eight people waiting. I wanted to see how much it made. 65,000, it's not too bad. The 
These are filling up. This should be filling up as well. And I have zero passengers on board. That's great. Get someone up though. Eight people waiting, nine, ten people waiting, eleven people waiting, I think. We will have ten, eleven, twelve. Not bad. That's actually quite all right. And you have zero people on board. Wonderful. Great. Four people waiting here. Is that another four, I think? Oh. Uh, 12 people on board. Let's see how much it makes. Or 12 people. Should be kind of interesting to see. Made 43,000. That's not half bad. We've got 8 people on board. There's eight people waiting. We're number nine. Yeah. Kind of bugs me that these are all right on each other's butts. Ooh, 12 people waiting here now. 11 waiting there. There's number 13. Maybe 14, 15, 16. That is nice. And how many do we have here right now? Three, seven. Probably four more. All right, so it's picking up. It's picking up. It's picking up. But not fast enough. <laughs> This bus line hopefully starts making a lot of money now that there are more buses on it. And they can go to Ole to go to Morietta, but Morietta doesn't have any products, which is kind of sad. So can we make a product that Morietta wants, like food? Uh, we have this here, but we don't have any means to supply it. We don't have any means to supply it. We have this here, but for that we need cows. So then we would need grain to cows to beef to meat. food and then take it to Murrieta and Santa Rosa. It's kind of a, a big ask in my opinion, especially considering the amount of money we have right now. A 
Okay. So, what can we do that is valuable to us? What I think I'll do is... I think I'll create a new line from here, actually, from here to here. And we'll call this Murrieta Bus Service. And then we'll take, we have 12 vehicles on this, we'll take four of them. a bus service car which is this one i think and we'll switch them over to be on Murrieta bus service so that we have four just going back and forth here and then i think the other one the Murrieta joliet bus service will not be going to locust street It'll just go to Cedar Street and Joliet and to Lower Murrieta. Can we configure this so that it has two? It can't. It won't fit. It won't fit. Okay, never mind. Three passengers on board, two waiting. It's not good. But look at all these people that are flocking to the train right now. That was quite a lot of passengers. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, that's better. Three passengers right now. Two more, I think. Yep. There's four more. Okay. That works. I think I want to... This, uh, what's it called? Yonkers Olathe Bus Service. I don't think that's going to go to Madison Street or South Street anymore. So we're going to make a new line that goes from here to here to here to here back again and this line is going to be Olaf uh, bus service and we're then going to take uh, let's see eight of these put on Olathe bus service. What color is that? What's that one? All right. And then we want the Yonkers to Olathe bus service. We don't want Madison Street and we don't want South Street. Okay.
works for me. And then I think here we should be able to any second one. Yes, we can. Good. And terminals. Switch you over to terminal two. Okay. I like it. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Only the bus service, of course, is not making money right now. Mother Juliet is not making money. But the other bus service is making a bit of money. And our train is making a little bit of money. Fantastic. Two of the. Well, we have one of the buses on the Ole bus service in here. I guess the others are on the way. How's this looking? We have nine people waiting now, and 12 people waiting here. More coming. I think that's okay. How many did you pick up here? Ten? Not great, but it's, it could be a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse. Dead. Okay. Jesus. We have a lot of people wait waiting around the place. Uh, let's repay five hundred thousand. We don't have to pay as much interest. And I think the next thing that we'll do is maybe hook up Lubbock to Ole by train. Or maybe Provo. Frisco has 75 people. Waterbury, 149. Virginia Beach, 57. People waiting here to go to South Street. So much fuel for Roseville. Should we buy some more vehicles for Roseville? I suppose we should. Let's buy four more. No, no, no. no. So we have 30 on there. And El Paso is getting about half of its needs to fulfill. The problem is that we can't move uh, the crude fast enough. We just can't get the crude up over here fast enough. And if we put more vehicles on this, then this is all going to back up, which is not good, which is not good. So here comes a bunch that want to pick up the oil. We need better road vehicles. These horse-drawn carriages are not great. We are 
not great. I could try and put five more on this. Five more on that. Because we are backed up here. Hopefully that'll help out. Now we're making a little bit of money. Even though we spent 100,000 here, we made 229,000, so that's not bad, actually. In my opinion, well, waiting there, two waiting there, but you have 21 on board. How much do we make from 21 passengers? Has to be pretty good. to be pretty good. 76,000. That's okay, and you've got 17 passengers on board. I actually think that's okay. We cleared out this now, but I don't think we need that many on this line. Let's tell you. This has been kind of a, a waiting and seeing episode, I guess, except for the very beginning where we excitedly put our train on its line. First train on the tracks. Wonderful. And it's actually making money. 31,000 right now. That's not bad. 75,000. That's okay. The Yonkers Iron to Steel is not doing so great, but it should come. The Olyth bus service is not doing so great, but that should adjust itself as well. Once we get all our vehicles up here, which it seems like we more or less have now. Wonder why that is. Um, let's go to South Street. That's better. South Street is a popular destination apparently now. Or no one wanted to go to South Street. Only the transfer is very popular. It's of course because of the train, I guess. 1414. 15th on the way. Wonderful. And we almost have enough money that we can repay a bit more of our debt. We 
which is nice. Which is very nice indeed. Still, of course, our boats that make the most money. I am considering switching this be a train line, have a train station here, a curving one, and have a train line going up here, and back down, of course, because that means that we can transport a lot more crude and That means that we can also bring fuel back here, sail it over here, and then train it over to Murrieta, Santa Rosa, Hialeah, Topeka, which wouldn't be a bad thing. I think that would actually be a good shout. I think that would actually be a good shout. Because if we can, if we can somehow stick, uh, let's try, just for fun, cargo, if we, see, if we stick this in here, then it reaches the harbor, and it reaches... the oil so that would mean that the oil with the crude would automatically be transferred from the harbor to the oil refinery and then we could transfer the oil up here bring the fuel back I think that's a really good idea to be honest I think that could be a really good idea How's this up here doing? Well, the bus service is, uh, is basically dead, isn't it? I mean... You know what? Manage vehicles. Let's... Take ten of them off. Done. That should... Help so it doesn't lose as much money but the savannah lines they're making a little bit of money it's not it's not gonna make us rich but it's making a little bit of money the savannah is actually over on it has more construction materials than it wants So what we could do is take some up to Antioch as well. Make a little road through the mountains here. That actually might actually be a good idea. That might actually be a good idea. And an interesting little road. Could also be a train. I think the train is probably overkill. Maybe not. Tons of stone sitting here. Some construction materials. flowing with the stuff which is probably hampering the production of this isn't it yeah it is see what's the rate of this 
it's 49. Yeah, okay, so it's actually producing at about the same as as we can deliver. And this is a rate of 45. Doesn't need to be higher. So we could double the rate on these, for instance, and then send some up to Antioch as well. Be a bad idea. Ooh, Sterling Heights. So a train might not be a bad idea here. Uh, I'm thinking that we don't do like a massive cargo hub anywhere to split, uh, to send it out to places, but I'm not sure on that. We could make a northern and a southern and a central cargo hub or something like that. To so have a cargo hub down here or something. And then have a cargo hub uh, so up here around Green Bay which is the center of the map and then have a cargo hub maybe around Abilene here it could be a possibility We'll see. We'll see. Wow, we have more than a million. We had more than a million. We have repaid a million. All right, so and we have repaid one and a half million. Come with some making so much extra money. Mm. The train is, is doing okay now. Just went into the red, but in general. It has 19 passengers on board, which is pretty good. 18 passengers waiting. Three more running in to try and catch the train. Will they catch it? No. Bummer. You're gonna have to wait. And how many people do we have waiting here now? Seven. We're doing two. Caroline James. We're going to the bus, I guess. Or to the train. We're going to the train, I guess. Three more going to the train, or two more going to the train. So, how many did you get? Eight. There's already 15 waiting here. It's very popular going from Murrieta to Olaf, not so popular going the other way. Which is understandable because there's nothing up here. There are no goods or anything uh, but wet. And there is in, in uh, Yonkers. And there will be in Lubbock once we get some trucks going for that, but there's really no point because Yonkers is not getting a lot of the machines. Dutch is 25. A lot of that stored. We really need to up our... So if you take a look at the lines, so the Yonkers Coal to steel has a rate of 49, and the iron ore to steel has a rate of 59, and the planks 
has a rate of 53, so the younger steels to machines has a rate of 43. So steel to machines to yonkers could do with some more bucks on it. And so could coal. But we'll have to look at that in the next one because we are out of time. We are out of time. Coming in. 29,000. 19 passengers on board though. Yeah, okay. So. We'll see what we can do in the next one, and we can pay back another half a mil. So that's two mil we paid. We have two mil to play with right now. So that's something that we could do some train stuff with. Maybe a cute little cargo line of some sort. Wouldn't be bad. Wouldn't be bad. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.